What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about the buffs and changes I've made for Inteleon in my ROM hack. Uh, but before I get into what I've done and why I've done it, I want to have a quick disclaimer for anybody who's new here. I will address the whole dual type thing in a second, but for anybody who's new here, I, first of all, I do appreciate you clicking on the video. Uh, second of all, I recommend that when you're done with this video, you check out the other ones uh, linked down below in the description. You can also look at the Google Sheet. Uh, every single Pokemon in this game is heavily reworked, and also all of the moves are heavily reworked. So... Um, I would definitely give those all a look. When you're done with the video, don't click off now because it'll mess up my watch time. And, you know, I would like my videos to have good stats for the algorithm so then more people see my videos. Speaking of, uh, if you're returning or if you're new, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, uh, sub if you haven't already somehow, if you're a returning viewer. I do appreciate all that stuff. Um, it helps support the channel, helps boost up the algorithm and get my uh, my work out to more people. So anyway... Yeah, move sheet as you can see is massive, but it's it's not as it seems intimidating. But if you just click all the little categories, it'll take you to the organization, uh, and then also it's by type. So whichever is easier for you to understand, uh, I would say both categories have their uses. Um, so yeah, well, you can click these and it'll it'll hot link to the other sections of the move sheet. Don't click off yet because it'll again it'll mess up the watch time. But check it out later. Uh, you can also check out my other videos when you're done as well. Uh, and then, yeah, again, read the description. I have uh, a bullet point list of, like, baseline things about the ROM hack and the way I approach balancing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Inteleon. So I chose not to make them Water Dark or Water Ghost. Uh, at some point in development, I had them as Water Dark, and then I had Rillaboom as Water... Sorry, Grass Normal. And then I had Cinderace as just Pure Fire because of versatility, which I think is kind of stinky anyways. Like, I don't like only two of them being dual type. And then I also did not want to make Cinderace fighting type. Not to mention, Dark hardly fits Inteleon. Like, yes, it fits. It fits enough. Like, it's not unfitting. It's not a stupid change. Like, if there was a Water Dark Inteleon in a ROM hack, I wouldn't make fun of it or anything. Meanwhile, other stupid type changes people like to do, I think, are stupid. But this one is... I wouldn't say it's stupid. I just... I'm not the biggest fan. And I think they're cooler. And, and, and not cooler, but... I just think they're better off as pure normal. Uh, sorry, pure uh, pure type. Pure type, pure fire, pure water, pure grass. Um, all of them have the incredible ability and expertise because they are experts... Uh, they're soccer players, snipers, secret agents, drummers, etc. Like their whole design is based around being like this specific profession, um, and they're very good at it. So that's why I gave them all expertise. That's obviously a very good boosting ability. It breaks focus sashes, it breaks energy shield, it breaks multi scale um, for free. So that's all really good. And then it also just gives you a raw 25% damage boost off of, in this case, 125 special attack, and you have 135 speed. So that's really good. And you have two other incredible, really fun to use utility abilities. So early, especially early on, um, but in general, even later on. I mean, so the, the thing is, you might be thinking, why would I ever bother with camouflage, aka mimicry? Why would I ever bother with this if I have Terra? Also, and uh, quickly, I can address the flavor of the abilities. So, camouflage. I don't think I need to explain too much why I chose that. I mean, they can change their color and stuff. Um, I think it's cool. And also, like Intellion's this whole like secret agent spy. So I think him like changing to match the terrain is cool. And then tactical retreat. He's a secret agent. He, like, runs and shit. I think it's fine. Uh, mostly because I wanted two abilities that don't overlap with other pure water types that also are use are worth using over expertise. Um, and so Tactical Retreat is great utility. You can use it to set up, like, I don't know, like, even, like, very specific things. Like, oh, Tactical Retreat lead with Tailwind. I click Tailwind. They knock me into range. I switch out for free. You know, that type of thing. Then you have three turns of Tailwind to abuse with your uh, allies. Um... But even just like basic, just getting a free pivot is huge, right? In a ROM hack context where you can plan out exactly how the turns are going for that boss fight, getting that free pivot is invaluable. Of course, he does have flip turn and U-turn for pivoting too, but that takes up a whole turn. Uh, meanwhile, a tactical treat, you can just send him in and then get the free, the free switch immediately. Or you can even do some other creative things like get a kill and then get knocked into range and switch out immediately. Uh, you, also, you also have like Hydro Cannon, Eject Pack and stuff you can abuse. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I wanted to discuss Camouflage. So Camouflage is their coolest ability, in my opinion. I, th I think it's really sick. Um, so early game, it's incredible. I also gave them Terrain Pulse at level uh, 16. or So basically, the only boss fight that matters for is 18, I believe. There might be an Amona fight at like 17, but otherwise, the caps are 18. No, there's not even an Amona fight. So yeah, they're all 18, right? So essentially, you'll have Terrain Pulse uh, for that level very early on. That's a 100 base power move. And if you run Terrain with somebody else, which, uh, you know, a lot of Pokemon in this game will get like Grassy Terrain, Electric Terrain, Psychic Terrain via TM. You can switch those on and then you get Terrain Boosted, you know, 130 power Thunderbolt, 130, uh, not 130 power Terrain Pulse uh, for all the terrains except for Misty Terrain. That's only 100 power, but it's still obviously useful. Not to mention there's defensive utility in changing your type, especially in a team locked context. If you don't know what that is, 
again, I recommend you pause the video and read the description. I have bullet points that explain exactly what that is and why it is, uh, why it works the way it does. But that'll be really fun because your options are more limited. So being able to change your type to whatever you want. Meanwhile, in Terra, with Terra in this ROM hack, it's intended to be randomized. So essentially, you randomize your Terra type. Say you pull Terra fighting, I don't know, whatever, random Terra type, right? That way, you can still use camouflage to guaranteed turn into either psychic, fa uh, fairy, electric, or grass. Which is it's really neat. I like that a lot. I think it's super dope. Um, <clears throat> uh, also, logically, by the way, for Tailwind, I gave him that because he does glide and Teleon, so I think it's a cool little option specifically for a tactical retreat. And, and I mean, yeah, I think tactical retreat Tailwind is just a really cool combo. Um, <clears throat> and of course, you've got coverage like Air Slash and stuff, which is 80 base power, 100% accurate, so that's all fun. Um, you've also got some really strong dark moves, which for flavor, which I threw on there, despite them not being dark type. So obviously you've got your good old, you know, dark pulse, which they get a vanilla, but then later on at 45, which is pretty early for a 120 power move like this, uh, night days is essentially special wicked blow, uh, both night days and torrential pulse, which are wicked blow variants can't be used twice in a row. So that means it, on something this fast, it's not nearly as big of a drawback as it would be on something else. Um, because you can just switch your move, you know, because you're so damn quick. Um, so 135 speed, it, it is good. However, you do have to keep in mind you're still not guaranteed a plus speed nature. So if you get a neutral speed nature, which you're most likely going to have, uh, you're hitting 358. So you're outspeeding base 114? No. 113 and below. 113 and below is what your Intellion is outspeeding, unless you get lucky with the plus speed. So and even if you get the plus speed, I, don't, I think you're probably hitting like 130 if I had to guess. Let's see. Yeah, not even 130. So even then, you're only hitting 129. But anyway, uh, not that, not that, that I mean, that, at that point, that's great. You're outspeeding the vast majority of the entire hack. But in this case, there's still a good amount of things that will outspeed you. So it's still worth running speed items or whatever else you want to do. Um, Scald is a guaranteed burn, um, 60 base power. So that's a good utility. You can use that with Tactical Retreat plus Tailwind, and other Encore, Screens even. You know, there's a lot of fun ways you can abuse utility and Teleon with that uh, Tactical Retreat. Um, you can also try to do some flinch cheese, I guess, but I personally would not in a nuzlocke, especially on something this frail, um, which is what this game is balanced around, you know, nuzlocking. I would not ever click, like, for example, Expertise Air Slash for that 51% flinch. I would never bother with it, but, you know, if that's the way you like to play, you can. Nobody's stopping you. Um, I just don't think it's not intended, right? Um, you've got your, you know, I don't know, it's very straightforward. Uh, Drizal, Sable are also strong with Torrent. They're strong and, I mean, really strong and fast for early game. Uh, Drizal is very quick. Torrent plus Endure Berry plus, like, Pattaya Berry is incredible uh, because with Movie Learner, Endure strats are just overall much more consistent and easy to use versus AI. It's really easy to just get that strong Endure, you know, plus one special attack or plus one speed plus Torrent boost. So that's all really fun. And then again, that early game Terrain Pulse is a killer. I mean, I would love, I mean, I would I encourage it so much, right? For that first, like, early game portion, setting up Terrain with somebody else and switching into your Drizal is awesome. Like, I would love, 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 love to abuse that. Super sick. Because you get such a strong move for that point in the game, right? And it also changes your type. It can trick the AI. All this fun stuff you can take advantage of with uh, camouflage. So, well, I can't actually trick the AI, but you, you get the point. It's a cool move. Uh, cool ability, excuse me. Um, and then Tactical Retreat is useful for the whole game, obviously. Um, it's just a good pivot ability. Uh, you've got good debuffing moves. You've got uh, early game, you've even got stuff like Rehydrate. Uh, tearful Look drops attack, special attack, and speed by minus one. Uh, chilling Water, uh, Chilling Water, Dismal Cry, Disarming Voice, all drop, attacking stats by minus one, you know, cool little things like that are nice because you look frail on paper, but once you consider the debuffs and the fact that you can run whatever EB spread you need to run, so for a certain boss fight you might want to run like a max HP defense, wimp out, sobble, or some shit like that, I don't know, some weird tech, right? Uh, all of that is very easy to switch on and off whenever you need to. So yeah, pretty straightforward other than that, I mean, he's got decent coverage, nothing too crazy, but I mean... He doesn't really need much anyways. He's got water, he's got then he's got strong ice moves. Uh, Mud Bomber is great, so that is a uh, multi it's essentially special ground type surging strikes. That also can't be used twice in a row, but again, you can switch your moves. So you can use like Mud Bomber, Night Days, Torrential Pulse, all of which are like really strong variants of wicked blow and surging strikes that can't be used twice in a row, which is mostly meant to balance out like scarf or, or specs or band spam, right? But on a fast Pokemon like this, you can alternate between those three moves or any other move, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's all really fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, Sludge Bomb. Obviously, you've got your Camouflage for Grass, Psychic, uh, Grass, Psychic, Fairy, and... Man, my brain is hurting right now. Grass, Psychic, Fairy, and... Uh, 
electric, which none of you don't get any moves of those types. It's outside of like play rough and shit. Which, I mean, seventy attack is usable. You know, if there's like a mon that's four times weak to fairy on the opponent's team on the boss fight coming up, you could tack on play rough and then hit them with that if you want to. It is hundred power, so it probably would kill if it's four times, depending on how bulky that mon is and if they have like a berry, whatever. But definitely could you use for certain techs because of movie runner. So even like physical covers moves are useful on him, even though they might not see him immediately useful. Uh, I also threw Grassy Glide on there for flavor because he's, he glides. I just think it's a cool like pun, like he glides. So give him, give him the gliding move. Um, <clears throat> not like you'll ever really be using it, but it, you know maybe for some niche scenario you could uh, whip it out. Um, yeah, obviously like, fast taunt is good. Like taunt tactical retreat is good. You, there's so many fun ways you can abuse tactical retreat. I love that ability. It's so cool. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening. Um, let me know if you made it to the end. Um, I guess some other quick things I can touch on stat-wise, the reasons I chose that. So I chose to drop a boost HP because he is super tall. Um, he is still relatively frail, but with HP investment, he can definitely tank a lot of hits now. Uh, more than he could before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, obviously just faster, just because of speed, power creep, and attack. And it's just nice to have a fast Pokemon. It also makes him feel less underwhelming. For example, if he was water dark, he'd be a lot slower. Um, he'd probably be like 125 tops. So him being much faster, I would argue, is better for him because outspeeding more things versus AI is always good. Um, it makes you less reliant on like Scarf and Quick Claw and stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, early game you've even got like other ground coverage like Mud Shower, which before you get Mud Bomber is a good option. AD base power, drop speed. Um, yeah, tons of fun ways. Even like Acid Reflux utility with with Wimp Out or Tactical Retreat is fun because you get that special defense drop and that poison. Um, yeah, super creative ways you can abuse these moves and abilities. Also, like Terra, I mean, Dragon Pulse in general is 100 power, which is stronger than Ice Beam. So, um, if there is like a dragon or something you want to try to get, um, you can run up. You know, you can run with that early game Dragon Pulse, uh, which I gave because he is a you know reptile type Pokemon. Um, but then I don't know. Like, if you got Terra Dragon, is the main use for Dragon Pulse, I would say. Uh, Bubble Burst, all these good moves. Snipe Shot. I haven't covered talked about Snipe Shot yet. Yeah. So Snipe Shot is okay on him obviously it's still really good number one because it outspeeds quick claw on the opponent's team because priority outspeeds quick claw but also because it um <clears throat> it essentially will uh it's like a 70 it's basically it's, it's kind of like water e-speed right it's like a 75 power the only downside being it can't be used twice in a row which is a bigger deal if you're trying to run like specs or like a bulky pokemon but if you're like intellion you're probably just clicking snipe shot either to finish something off or, um, you know, to one-shot, like, a really frail Pokemon that's faster than you, or whatever it is, uh, something like that is, is useful for. So definitely a fun move. You can definitely abuse it. Also, super early on, level 36, Snipe Shot is very early, so that's fun. Um, and that's reworked for other Pokemon, because obviously with Inteleon, you'd rather have other stuff. However, you already have Torrential Poles for a strong crit move anyway. Also, I don't know how I'm only mentioning this 20 minutes in. Sniper's gone. Sniper is reworked to Ruthless. God, I'm, I'm pissed I didn't say that earlier in the video. I know somebody's going to comment, what happened to Sniper? What happened to Sniper? Uh, yeah, if you don't know, I mean, you know this by now if you're listening 13 minutes in, so I'm not going to bother explaining it, but that's why they don't have Sniper. And if, hey, let me know in the comments down below if you were listening this far and you didn't know what Ruthless is. Like, if this is your first video of mine or first couple of videos and you don't know what that ability is, um, that'd be interesting. I'm curious. I doubt anybody is at that point, at this point in the video and doesn't know that, though. Um, yeah, all right. Appreciate you all for listening all the way to the end. Make sure you drop a comment if you have. It's good for the algorithm. And I'll be back for more coming up. Peace.